You can treat a concussion with medications or other passive modalities. The evidence suggests that, or the evidence is insufficient, I should say, for the use of medication in concussion recovery. There are no pills that can help to heal a concussion, right? Medication is often deployed as a symptom um, band-aid, if you will, right? You have pain, here's a painkiller. Right? Have we got to the mechanism of what's actually causing that pain? No, but you'll feel better temporarily while you take this. And that's kind of, the, kind of the issue, right? We can mask some certain things, but oftentimes medications will have side effects that can come with them, like dizziness, like fatigue, like fogginess, like trouble concentrating, trouble sleeping, drowsiness, which are all symptoms of concussion. Then we create a cloudy picture because we're giving a medication for one thing, which is actually affecting a whole bunch of other things. Now, are those things because of concussion or are those things a side effect of medication? It becomes very difficult to tell. So medication can be helpful at reducing some symptoms, but it may create other ones. So just be aware of that, right? My approach is typically to go after the underlying issues before resorting to that. This brings me to the other idea, not medication, but other types of passive treatment modalities. Most of you out there, I shouldn't say most of you, but many of you out there are looking for someone to just fix you and something that you don't have to do any work for, right? I want to go lie in a hyperbaric chamber and let that, you know, fix me. That's not how this works. The amount of times that people write to us asking, um, if hyperbaric oxygen is good or if laser therapy is good or if any of these electropulse magnetic therapy you know, things are any good. There is no evidence to suggest that they're good. Actually, hyperbaric oxygen, for example, and I've said this so many times on this show before, actually has a lot of evidence to suggest that it's not helpful for concussion. It's no better than sham or placebo. Right. Obviously, as more research comes out, maybe this stuff changes. Maybe these recommendations changes. But as of right now, none of these passive modalities have any evidence to support their being effective.